Boys, a uh, big Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the basics of OBS, aka the Open Broadcaster software, one of the best live streaming programs for Mac. I've been using this program to set up layouts for live recording and live streaming for quite some time, and with its recent 0.9 update, I believe it's one of the best live streaming clients for Mac, not to mention that it's free. With all that being said, Let's begin the tutorial. All right, so what you're looking at right now is OBS. Now, hopefully you've already downloaded and installed OBS by following the link in the description below. And if you have not, just pause the video, install it. It's not that hard and play when you're done. Okay, so now that you have your OBS open, it may look a bit different than mine because I'm currently using the dark theme. Now, you can change your theme by going into the settings, and the first thing that you have here is your language, of course, English, if you want to use that. If you want to use another language, they have quite a good amount of options. I never even realized that. But the theme that I'm currently using is dark. You most likely have default, and you can use whichever one you prefer. I just like to use dark. However, this is OBS. The screen that you're looking at right now is the scene or setup that I'm using at the moment. Now this can be anything from a webcam like I'm using right now or your gameplay plus a webcam and more. Now more than likely what you want to do is something similar to this here where it's your webcam, it's connected to your Elgato as you can see here and that's most likely the most basic thing that I'm going to be showing you in this video. Your Elgato in the background, your webcam, and the green screen if you have one if not then that's fine you can still put your webcam and an image overlay so scenes are managed on the left of the elgato now just to clarify the webcam that you see on the layout is delayed purposely because the elgato is delayed one second when you use it as most of you elgato users may know and i'll be showing you how to do that in a bit so we have our scenes here. As you can see, I have quite a few scenes because I live stream a good variety of games. However, to create a scene, all you have to do is click on the plus sign and you can name this whatever you want. We're going to attempt to replicate the uh, layout that I just showed you, which is the most basic one. So I'm going to name this Smash for Wii U 2. And now when you make a new scene, it's just black because you have to add things to it, which are sources. Now, a webcam is a video capture device. An image is an image that's pretty obvious. Audio input and audio output capture aren't very relevant at this moment. Display capture is to, display, to capture your complete monitor or your computer. Window capture captures one specific window like your Elgato game capture. Game capture siphon we won't be um, speaking about in this video. Media source is for another video and text is of course text and browser source is for another video. Now. First thing you want to know most likely is adding your Elgato into your OBS system. So as you can see, I'm going to click on window capture and I'm going to name this Elgato 2. And whenever you're adding things, you want to remake them because any changes I make to my existing Elgato, which is the one I showed you in the other layout, will in turn apply to that one. So always make a new one. It's the best thing to do unless you're comfortable with changes happening. So. When you make a new one, you'll see that the Elgato is in here. And that's because if you're using a Macintosh device like we all are, it only recognizes applications that are in the same desktop as OBS. So as you can see, I have on my desktop 4 Elgato and desktop 5, I have my OBS. So what I want to do is I want to move my OBS to desktop 4, well, where the Elgato is at, double click the Elgato, click on the window, and now the Game Capture HD is there. I'm going to click OK. Now, if it's not fit to the screen, you can right click or click with two fingers and you can click on fit to screen so that it stays on the screen. So now I prefer to keep my Elgato on its own desktop. So I'm going to move it back to the other desktop. But OBS just decided to crash. I don't know why, but thankfully OBS saves very often. So as you can see, I didn't lose anything that I was working on. So like I said, I'm going to move OBS back to desktop 5 and leave the Elgato on its own desktop. And the reason that I like to leave the Elgato in its own desktop is because I like to go to view 
and hide sidebar. And now from here, I switch back to the other desktop and it'll stay without the sidebar. And now you can edit the scale of the um, actual window by clicking on it. And you can see we have these red outlines here and you can click and drag it to maintain the aspect ratio and make it a bit bigger so that it can be full screen. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now it is at a full screen, which is awesome. And now I have my Elgato here. So next thing we're going to do is add an image overlay. And let's say you want to add a layout or something similar to I had. So I'm going to go into image and I'm just going to name this smash overlay two. and I'm going to click OK. And now you can browse your computer for the file that you want to use. In my case, I have all my things in a streams folder. And now, of course, I'm using Smash for Wii U, and I'm going to use this Twitch overlay instead of the other one. All right, so I'm going to click OK. And again, you can fit it to screen by going to Transform and Fit to Screen. Now that I have that, we can learn how to add our webcam. Now, like I mentioned, webcam is a video capture device. So you want to click on that, and I'm going to name this video capture device 3. OK. And I'm going to click on my HD Pro webcam. So as you can see, that is now there. And I'm going to make it smaller because I don't want the whole thing to be my webcam and put myself in the bottom right hand corner. Now, when I play my Wii U, I look over into this direction. However, it looks like I'm looking off the screen. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to flip horizontally. There we go. And now, so when I look at my monitor to play my Wii U, it actually looks like I'm looking at the screen that I have here. So now besides adding all these things for your layout, there's filters for things like your webcam, which are really cool. So like I mentioned, you're going to right click or click with two fingers and go to filters. And here we can add filters. So effect filters, there's a lot of things you can image mask, crop, color correction, color key and chroma key. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop because I'm not a fan that on the right side, my green screen doesn't go all the way. So I'm going to crop, let's say 150. And there we go. Now I have my full green screen and I'm centered in the middle of the screen, which is perfect. So now I'm going to add, if you have a green screen, you, what you want to do is chroma key here and you're going to click OK and it has its own default settings which work pretty well and I'm just going to leave it like that because it worked very nicely in my opinion but you can mess around with these tools here if you're so inclined. Now the last thing I want to do is that if you want to delay your webcam you can do that by clicking the video delay async and now this is by milliseconds every 1000 is one second so 1000 milliseconds is one second and the Del Elgato is usually delayed about one second. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now my video is delayed one second. So now that I have my setup with what I want to stream or record with, now we're going to learn how to capture our audio. Now, moving on to this, you want to make sure that you have an application called Soundflower Bed, as you can see right here. There's a link in the description. Go ahead and download that. And once you have it downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it. It'll appear on your status bar at the top. Now what you want to do is to actually capture your Elgato's audio or just your computer's audio in general if you're playing your Elgato music or iTunes music in the background. You want to select Soundflower 2 and click on built-in input. Now this will capture the um, audio coming out of your computer and send it directly to your stream. And next thing you want to do is click on the Apple logo, go to your system preferences and go to sound. Now for this to actually capture the sound flower, you want to change your output to sound flower too. And now at first you may not be able to hear anything and that may be because your audio is too low. So you want to lift it up here. And if at any time it stops working, just click on built in input and again. So there we go. Now we have that and I'm going to lower it a bit. Once you go to hundred percent, you'll be able to hear it and then you can lower it. So now that that's set, and Soundflower is capturing our system's audio, we can go into audio. And here, as you can see, you want to put your desktop audio device to Soundflower, and this will capture your um, actual um, system audio, like I mentioned. And then you want to head into Mic Auxiliary, and this is going to be your mic. I have a Yeti stereo mic, so I'm going to click on that. 
and now that will be my audio and now your video you want to have it to 1280 by 720 that's standard or you can have it to 1920 by 1080 but any changes you make here will reflect on all of your layout and finally you want to have your output your video bitrate just depends i'll have a link in the description to what you want to stream at um, and the recommended bitrate so for example i stream at 1280 by 720 and the recommended bitrate is 12 is 2000 but this all depends on your internet and what uh, resolution you're streaming at. and finally you want to have your stream key pasted here that you can find on your twitch dashboard or if you're just recording you don't need to do any of this so finally we have all of this set up we have it recording our system audio which is the elgato audio we have it recording our microphone and now to match our microphone with the video sync so as you can see my mic i'm going to set it at a 1000 uh sync offset just like we did with the video webcam and then that will be synced with my voice if you did the video delay but if you didn't then you're fine and then you can start streaming or start recording whatever it is and that is the basics of obs hopefully you found this video helpful if you did definitely go ahead and leave a like and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i'll definitely do my best to answer those and i'm going to continue to push out these obs tutorials i'm going to do some more advanced tutorials for layouts such as my shiny hunting layout here which i use my 3ds to record i have a live chat i have twitch alerts going on here and i have scrolling text among many other more advanced things so i hope you're looking forward to that and thank you for watching thanks for subscribing and welcome to the opera